Patrick, after those recent defeats, you needed a win. So what did it mean to get back to winning ways, but also with some style, particularly in the second half? Yeah, we said before the um, before we just started the warm up that more important than anything was winning today. Um, no matter how we did it, and to be honest, it was quite an even game. I think first half, especially, um, that's the first team I've seen kind of come and press, kind of similar to the way we did actually, and um, it made it difficult. And then it was really about who got the first goal. Unfortunately, we got it and went on to get three points. What was the difference in the second half? Um, I think we played the pitch better. It sounds strange, but at half time we said that we were making mistakes in our own half, getting caught on the ball. It was slippy and. Um, if we lost the ball in our own half, they'd cause danger. So we said, try and play the ball up into the opposite half quicker. And uh, we did that, and it, I think that was, uh, as I said, uh, the key thing was the first goal. Kind of brought them out, made them have to open up even more, and then picked them off then. How slippy was that pitch? It looked tricky. Oh, I don't want to speak too much about it. Because <laughs> the ground was not far away. It's like going Winter Wonderland at Christmas. <laughs> and for your goal, was it all about the ball through to you, but also you had the time to pick your spot. Yeah, to be honest, it was a great ball from Ty. Um, he played a similar one against Wolves, which got ruled out. But um, yeah, it was a great pass, and then it was just about making sure I hit it hard across the keeper. Also, a really nice touch at the end there, a tribute to Calvin Phillips's grandmother. It also really says about this club and also the spirit within the squad. Yeah, the squad's very together. I've said it in a lot of interviews before that um, it's a tight-knit bunch of lads, and I think that anyone who's... Um, watch the documentary on Amazon, we'll see that uh, Granny Val, she's like a big part of the club, like indirectly, and um, loads of people have grown to love her without even really knowing her. So it's, it's a big loss, and um, that one's for Calvin and his family.